Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with a Spellbinders haul. I still have another order that I'm waiting on but in the meantime I just wanted to show you some of the goodies I got. This is either from the holiday sale or the after Christmas sale. <laughs> Let's go into this video. Let's get started. I picked up this steel called Happy Plant. This was actually a card kit of the month item. And I loved the leaves in here. And look, I didn't even realize I don't have to have the face. So I could use the, I just realized it now. I could use the planter without that face if I don't want and then still have this. This was a steal at $5. So nice. You get all these goodies. Next, I have some foundation dies that were a steal. These are all from the throwback faves collection. None of these items were sent to me. As a matter of fact, the haul is my purchase. These were items that were previously released. Spellbinders has brought back limited quantities. This one I saw and I thought this would be so cute for like a fun birthday card to play with. This one goes out to, let me see if it's a full A2. No. Three and three quarters of an inch wide by five inches tall. So you're under an A2, but still fun. I get the outer piece and then the drop in is all these fabulous triangles, which are pennants penance background so this one love how the colors look and everything looks like it'll be fun nice for geometric cards you change up the colorways you go darker this would be great for masculine cards thumbs up i had this one in my cart for a while love the shape this one is labels eight the largest one is five and a half by four i'm going to also put the rates here on the screen so you can see sale ends on the 5th january 5th what comes after that? I don't know. Right now, this is your big sale with lots of steals and deals. I will link my video here. This was a steal as well. So was this. This one, I really like the shape. This is called Curved Rectangles. It just looks so much fun. Let me give you the size of the rectangle. I'm going from the tallest curve. <laughs> Six inches tall, four inches wide, and then it comes on in. This just looks so nice. I like this. I don't know. I love different shapes sometimes. This one can fit your A6 card, I believe. Is it four and three quarters or four and a half by six and a half? It's somewhere in there for an A6 card size. I'll put the A6 on the screen. Curved rectangles. I've had this one in my wish list and this one. And now it's like three for the price of one almost. Then from my own collection, which is on sale, the beautiful wreaths collection. I purchased a Christmas wreath add-on and a garden wreath add-on. Why? I want extras of my own set. Why not? <laughs> I played so much with this. This poinsettia, I would rather run two or three sets of this than just running it over and over again once. Now, I do have a pack that I'll show you in videos like this. I'm not opening that up. That would just be my pack to show you, demonstrate what the packaging looks like, what the dies look like. These I'm going to now deconstruct and put, you know, like how I store my dies. And this one, I definitely wanted another one of the garden wreath because there's a lot of goodies in here. You know, there is an example actually, and I forgot to mention it in the Kit Club video. A uh, maker, she used the jar die set, which is a large die of the month deconstructed it and brought in garden wreath and look at what she made i'll show you here on the screen and i'll put her name so you can see i'm not sure if she has a youtube channel or if it's only a blog but thumbs up and hello <laughs> i love it love it love it love it what she did she used the shape of the wreath to then build around and bring in the large die of the month isn't that fabulous i tell you use these they're timeless let them inspire you Deconstruct them as much as you want. That's what these add-ons are for. Use them within the wreath all year round too. Definitely during the holidays and then everywhere else and have fun. So I bought myself a set because these were half off. Two for the price of one. Also, I purchased one of this. I love wonderful winter sentiments. This is a fabulous set. Now I have great packaging. Before I just had these two. But this maximizes your cardstock. You glimmer it once die cut it once now i can put on my glimmer machine one piece here one piece here glimmer it have two sets of this this will now be six sentiments 12 in total and have different colors i love this so much this is by simon this was from simon snow globes collection 
it was just such a winner. I love the sizing. Here it is with BB Snowflakes Collection. See how beautiful that is? This Christmas, I loved it with white cardstock, red hot foil roll, like most of my examples, even though I did glimmer it different ways. When I get into this factory mode of glimmering a bunch of these, now because I have two, I can have this in red, this in blue, run it again, green, black, run it again, opaque white hot foil roll, maybe a gold hot foil roll. And because this was such a great deal, it was worth getting. So wonderful winter sentiments. I got another one of the Geo Quilt. This is also from Simon Snow Globe's collection. I guess I will be linking the collection below because that's on sale as well. I got this. I love this Geo Quilt. And sometimes I'll get another embossing folder, especially when it's a great deal or a steal. This one, I can then take out a brayer and do those techniques that I see Jennifer McGuire doing, but I am not doing it on the embossing folder that I'm using with my white cardstock all the time. I don't care what nobody says. I don't want my embossing folders to be dirty. I would rather have a second one and dirty this one up than mess up just the one and then I put ink on it and I can't get it off. It would drive me insane. So <laughs> I needed to get a second one. I know. My crafty friends, when I go to crops, crafters who have known me for years, they're like, only you, Suzanne. Yeah. My eyes, um, I'm not getting any younger and my eyes are getting actually a little worse. Not bad enough in terms of going to the eye doctor. This is a uh, my eye issue sidebar. I had eye surgery years ago. One eye was overcorrected and one eye was properly corrected. So right now, every time I'm doing everything, I'm seeing farsighted and nearsighted at the same time. So when things like this, if you see me buying seconds of certain things and you're like, why would she buy another embossing folder? It's, so what if it has a little ink? I can't line up anything because my eyes start to do this. It'll start dancing back and forth because one is farsighted one is nearsighted you know i might tell you guys this on and off in videos because certain people you'll have things you can still craft if you have dexterity issues that's why i love the pro shears this is also on sale because i can do fussy cutting with a big scissor instead of having to mess with the little small ones i don't like messing with the small ones they just don't feel comfortable in my hand this feels great i love this glass craft mat because this is low glare she cleans. She doesn't ghost. No matter how much alcohol ink I put on her and stuff, she won't get that gray haze. And the glare also doesn't bother me because she is low glare, so my eyes don't get weird again. That's why I do these little wonky things. So I should say that to you. That's why I got a second one. I know that this one can be my messed up one, but when I'm putting a piece of paper in here and lining it up straight, I want it to be as clean and pristine, just like this. I don't cut anything on here either. I want her to be pristine as well. To give me years of good service. <laughs> That's my little eye sidebar. Okay. <laughs> so Geo Quilt. I saw her on sale. I was like, I'm getting another one. I also bought some cardstock because cardstock was on sale. You know, when cardstock is on sale, it's time. Look at these colors. This would be pretty together if you want a card. Alabaster, one of my favorites. Brushed gold. All the brushed cardstock and envelopes on sale too. Poppy Field, so perfect for Valentine's. Love this. There is also another color, pomegranate, but it's currently out of stock. That's another beauty, but everybody bought that. Sage, love sage. Sage is like light green, but if you ink it, you can bring it down and it, then it gives that nice variation in colors. Very pretty color. And I've been mixing her with Velvet Rose, also sold out, and Partly Cloudy. I love Partly Cloudy. Just fabulous, 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 fabulous. All right, and lastly, from Spellbinders, I saw a video, Spellbinders video with Totally Tiffany. I will link the video in the description box below, a direct link for that video so you can watch it. This is a Totally Tiffany item in a gigantic packaging. <laughs> it's called the Toolbox. So Totally Tiffany has teamed up with Spellbinders to offer these more rugged, boxes and I decided to get this size. This is the nine by six box and you can fit all sorts of goodies in here. So I have a few Totally Tiffany storage items. These are great for crops and travel. What she said in the video, 
is that this is a thicker, more durable plastic, so this can hold weight. You can put cutting plates, you can put a bunch of dies, and you know if you store a lot of dies together, it has weight. So like for my favorite dies, I can zip it in here, pack it up and carry it, and is see-through. Hopefully I had put it together correctly. That's the only thing. She didn't show how to put it together. I think I did put it together okay. I think. <laughs> So it's gonna come flat, you have to put it together. Maybe on her channel I can see. She normally gives you a video of how to put it together. If you want to remember what this is, I normally cut this out and put it on the bottom here. So if you wanna get one like a year from now, you'll know, oh, it's the toolbox nine by six. So I may cut this out and put this on the bottom. That's what I usually do with her items. She suggests doing that because she has so many storage bags. She has three different size of these and there's also available the magnetic sheets and dividers if you wish that will go with the nine by six so that's the size that i got i'm curious about it and i do love her products i use them to store like and this could also store markers too actually you could do olo markers and copic markers in here travel with them you could put in your cutting plates i keep my cutting plates in my tote that i carry my platinum six with so there's lots of goodies that can fit in here. Glues and all kinds of things. Your cutting tools, a bunch of scissors and everything. Tapes and all that. So I was curious about this. I think it will be great for me traveling. And it's narrow. So when I pack it in the car, it can be like this. You know, when I pack big things, it takes up too much space. But this can hold a lot, but still stand up and travel well. Yeah. So this is the toolbox series. Three sizes available, Spellbinders carries it, and I got the nine by six. Okay, crafters, I think that's it. I will link and detail everything below. Definitely check out some of these goodies, and if you had eye surgery like I did, <laughs> then you can get yourself another embossing folder. <laughs> they have a lot of embossing folders in this fantastic after Christmas sale. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Everything's on sale. Wax seal kits are like $32. <laughs> from 49 so if, even if you want to do wax seal why not give it a try it's fantastic i'm loving everything spellbinders is just offering so much goodness die cutting i was always there for the die cutting and i was so happy here but then glimmer came along still happy and then now better press more happy <laughs> And wax seal. It's like four different things, but they're all so fabulous and they just help you to make such fantastic cards, elevate your card making. It keeps you inspired, keeps the mojo going. And I love that they're always improving and adding to. It's not just, oh, we released the wax seal and done. No, there are dyes for it. There are beads. There are new beads coming. Hint, hint. <laughs> Alrighty, crafters, until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Bye!